And now, Sportsline. Our sermon service and electric athlete of the week played a huge role in a state championship season for the Sugar Salem girls basketball team. Our athlete of the week is Haley Harris. Sugar Salem's Haley Harris knows when to shine on the court. She came up in the clutch with 17 points on nine rebounds in Saturday's state championship victory over Teton. I was excited with myself because my first couple games I struggled a little, so I was excited to go out with a bang and have that. I think we just focused on playing as a team more and came out with a lot more energy knowing that it's our last game for our seniors and we need to play to our best of our ability. Haley's coach Crystal Daly says Haley has been clutch and has played great basketball her entire high school career. She's been huge. You know, she's the type of kid that you look at her and, you know, she's 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, she doesn't look like a post player. And you can put her against a 6'2 girl and she can score on anyone. You know, it's, it's always amazed me how she just has really had to learn how to use her body and get position and, you know, find a way to score. But, you know, last summer we went and played against some teams in Utah that every girl was over six foot and she was going up with three girls hanging on her arms and still scoring. She just, no matter what you put against her, she always finds a way to get it done. And she's been a huge part of our success for the last three years. And after finishing last season as the state runner-up, especially as a senior this season, Haley says she and her team are proud to bring a state title home. It was a good feeling for us because last year we were really close, but we didn't quite make it, so this year was a good feeling for us. She has been clutch for the Diggers for three years, and she was named the 3-8 tournament MVP for her performance in states this year. Now, if there's an athlete you think we should feature in this segment, we want to hear from you. Send us your recommendations to sports at localnews8.com. Again, that's sports at localnews8.com. 